Well, here's the next update on my Dodgem project. On my 1960s Rebertron bumper car that I'm attempting to restore. Attempting being the operative word because my skills are rubbish. But anyway, I don't know what that white glow is at the top uh, top left corner of the screen. It looks like my flash is reflecting off the case or something. Anyway, ignore that. But um, can you spot a difference from the front of the grill, how it used to look and how it looks now? Uh, basically, I've gone around and sanded it and um, hit it with some silver paint. So I painted it silver. I've not done a very good job because there's a bit you probably can't see, but there's a bit in between the grill and uh, the chrome trim on the front where it should be body colour. should be still be yellow down there between the grill and the front bumper bit. But um, I did it all silver because I'm not very good at painting. Anyway, that's that bit, and I've even painted the inside of that headlight that's missing. Just to like brighten it up a bit. I didn't want the rusty look anymore. I was sick of seeing all the rusty trim, all the chrome that had gone. Excuse me, sniffing as well. Um, yeah. So on this side, this chrome, this trim was all rusty, and I thought it was a bit too far gone to save. But actually, I um, decided it was good enough to keep. So. Uh, I've even painted this rusty bit, which is a bit stupid, you might think. But I've got a plan for that. I think with a painted surface, instead of a rusty surface, I can actually stick some self-adhesive chrome trim to it. If that makes any sense. Anyway, there's plans, there's method in the madness. Um, and at the back, you can see that I've painted all the uh, back of it in the same uh, paint colour. Uh, yeah, so that's all done. Also, obviously it's got no floor in it, but I have put some stuff on the seat. It's basically two cushions um, that came, I got cheap, and uh, a throw, which actually is not far off. It's got this sort of like crisscross pattern, which you can see is like a bit like you know, the original. Um, vinyl that it was covered with I guess it's a vinyl material that it would have had but it sort of matches a little bit so yeah I've put that in so I've sort of <laughs> roughly upholstered the seat so it looks nice and presentable um, excuse my finger in the camera but there's a few problems as well um, this being the bonnet being one of them when I say bonnet you know the front of the car because this bit on this you've got these two trims on the, on the front of the bonnet and you've got one here that's a bit rotten it's it's not great i mean that black whatever that black stuff is is just peeling away and it's really crusty in there this one this side was completely shot it was just completely falling to bits so i removed it um, and you can see the car used to be painted red it was originally a red car they painted yellow but um you see this bit of metal here that's attached with a little a rusted bolt at the back you probably can't you can maybe just about see that i don't know it's not going to focus very well it's this camera never focuses but anyway yeah so i've tried to hacksaw that off and it's because of the angle it's at i can't really hacksaw it off at all so um and i've got these two pointy bits at the front that won't come off i might leave them on there and uh down the side you can see this side where there was a bit of trim was missing this front this front section of trim at the front was missing so I removed that, I managed to cut a couple of bolts out to get that off. And you can see at this side, the whole trim has come off. I managed to get it off, all off completely, apart from this bit here. This bit of crappy metal that's, it was all rotten as anything, but there's this last little bit. And it's held in with a bit of, well I can't show I've got a seat in it now, I can't show you from the inside, but it's a rusted bolt. So it's, there's always rusted bolts all around the car that basically um, I can't get off because I haven't got the right tools to do the job. So um, I'm going to need to get a rotary tool with a cutting disc or something, some sort of cutting disc with a, on a rotary tool to actually get these things off. But um, just turn the flash off because I think you get a good enough view of it. You don't need the flash to be honest. It looks better without the flash. Can see it in the real light um obviously i'm filming this in the dark uh, well not in the dark i'm filming it at night but anyway 
Um, I do waffle on and talk a load of rubbish, but anyway. Um, basically, I'm thinking I've bit enough more than I can chew. I managed to paint all this stuff around the car. So I've got rid of the rusty look. It looks a lot better, but the whole car is going to need repainting. Um, I've got these rusty bolts everywhere with the rusty trim that I can't actually get off. I think that's sitting a bit high at the front there. It's hard to tell because it just sits on this bumper. I lift it off and put it back on all the time. And it's not a very good way. It's, it sort of looks okay, but yeah, I think that's not sitting right. But anyway, is what it is. Um, basically, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to complete the project, really. It's... Uh, it's, I've, I've, I think I've done okay with that silver, but um, yeah, it needs a lot of work to do properly and I haven't really got the tools to do it. I mean, I'll try and get these bits of rusty trim off that I need to get off, but uh, as for repainting it, I've got no idea. So um, yeah, so I'm not sure at the moment. It just feels like it's uh, perhaps a bigger project than I can manage. I don't know. But um, I'll, I'll just leave it as it is for now. I think I've done enough of work on it, so I'm going to have a few days of... Uh, just enjoying looking at it and um, I'll leave it there thanks for watching and uh, I'll look at the back without the flash right here yeah, you can sort of see anyway and my nice chair in there but anyway that's enough that's enough footage you're looking at the same thing over and over again now so I'll leave you leave you in peace <laughs> all right I'll see you in the next next episode it's the next part if uh, if you're still watching Cheers, take care, thanks for watching, bye.